but um it was his idea all right so for him puppies not too long feed them and so the end they're just why play with one another you know puppies being puppies nice. yeah so i looking to worry about to see if i can get some cloth some paper cloth because I think I mentioned that uh gonna be part of a trade show for the very first time. So I'm gonna soak some stuff. I need to get some tablecloth to make the table look presentable, okay? So I'm gonna go with black tablecloth so that everything I put on top of it looks good. Ooh. Anyways, so I purchased some stuff recently, some makeup stuff and i wanted to use it again so here i am i didn't use the foundation i purchased so i'm going to use it today anyways um this is one of the stuff i purchased it is an eyebrow pomade or whatever you want to call it um name of it is nikake new york right i'm going to use this for me eyebrows Thick though. Let's find it real thick. I'll show you the box of come in. This is the box of come in. This is the back of the box. Even though the back of the box not showing any type of eyelashes, it is. But anyways, um, yeah, it looked good. It looked heavy. I hope it's a set of three and not single lashes because I asked Gil. She was like, yes, it's the three sets. I said, okay. Me and her that patience to be on, um, you know, them individual thing. It is a good, but I don't have patience. So I'm gonna put the glue and put it on the neck, right? What? Okay, this is too heavy to put by the bottom. I think I might need to put it on top. I want to try this other eyelashes. Sorry, I forgot to say. I want to try this other eyelashes pack because it is lighter, but the, my only problem with it is that it's long. I find it very long. But I'm going to try it and see. My problem with the length is that I just wear glasses. I don't want to wear glasses with them. Uh, eyelashes just be a little seen right so i'm money problem but why did us take down these things so damn good but that's what the frig it need to be used we need to get out and the thing boss you know what that mean no i like this today frig that i'll put on mascara but anyways now only drive from a power and i need right I'm use this foundation is from elf i am hoping it is my color i do not know the shade i pick up is where's the shade where's the shade where's the shade oh it's upside down cheese wow shade five medium tan so i will see hopefully it is my color all right um i am putting on primer i just have a little moisturizer on my face but i pay for lashes so let me try the Okay, they look a little pale though. It looks a little bit pale. But we shall work with it, eh? We shall work with it. It looks a little pale, but you know, we can work with it. Um. Shaman at all. Oh yeah, boy, you look low. Wow, I I like all the things we see so like a baseball. <laughs> you think I have a hit up with it. 
บนเลยกันเกินดีกว่าแล้วนะเราเกินทุบานอะไรก็ตัวเจดดอกค่ะ because you know ฮ่าฮ่าโอเค let's get down plenty s o m e but we look at it like a good like a good so far so far so good you understand look nice so the color use of the elegant concealer is fun going back with my elegant because I like elegant she don't really feel me you know I know what she gives she know what I like and we just work together right So for now, I'm talking about the lack of sleep. I'm gonna put on this blush here. I like it. Last time I used it, so I'll use it again. Right? It is the Perfusion Cosmetics blush, and I see into T Perfect is the name. So I guess this one is named T Perfect. And it's a cream blush, so I'm gonna use it once more because I did like it. Anyways, the powder I used to set my face with Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Okay. I think I should put some nap in the blush as well. Right, so to come to my face, it have this matte bronzer from LA Girl. I am going to use it for the first time. For the first time. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes. This is a nice shade. I like this shade. I like this shade. This is a nice shade. I'm liking the shade. This is a nice shade. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know no eyelashes because you have my power and I feel about that drama. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara.
Right, so about a week past, so you know, yes, yeah, had a pluck, I was at a shave. Um it's two weeks past since all that is my aunt, but I think I could have some aunt today. Yes, I can. So I'm not having my tweezer. Eh? This table is a hot potato mess with you take a Finally. I don't think I've ever mentioned it before, but before putting this stuff away, make sure and sanitize it somehow. Okay? Everything. Shave always is in the eyebrows, shave always is in the face. If you like me, I to shave your face. Yes. You want to keep everything sanitized. So I like to use rubber mat well because Let's get it jump one and two it is dry quick. Right, what I do now is that on the Miami peaks. I'm going to my other three out of the way. So I find my powder. If you use any color you want, I just use this one. Now let me get my lolly stick. I don't have a proper term, but you know. For me, it's a lolly stick. Yeah, nobody said it's a lolly stick. Alright, so so it's heat up and it moved the temperature, so it melt down good now. Let's put it in. Let's put it in. Let's see how I can put it on the screen. Take a seat. So you see, this is what it looks like. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Put my lolly stick there. So you see, this is what it looks like. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I'm not a cosmetologist or anything like that. But I waxed my arm before and this is what has worked for me. Right, so my hair and my arm does grow downwards. So what I like to do is apply the wax upwards and rip it off down. Right?
Let me use this smaller mirror to be up close and all up in my business so I can see what I'm doing properly. I also want to make sure that the wax, well, this is what I like to do. I like to make sure the wax is thick enough so it can be one rip. You understand? One rip. And apart from it being thick enough, you need to make sure you have some kind of lip to grab onto. Some back some of the layers. Now I like to I like to be before the rest. Um, we do you boo boo, so I don't I have nothing other than the powder that I now put. So that's why I like to be before it. Other than that, it's looking good, you know. But, you know, other than these scars from the boys before. Ooh. Yes, and let me get I have an address. So put some powder, make sure you cover the hairs. And this is the hairs. You can see it. Thin ears. Boom. Well, good night, and it's Sunday night. I need to comb my hair because I'll work in the morning, okay? So, I say I might as well say my little two cents are going on my head for the longest while. Okay, so, my two cents is about this whole Alexander Rodriguez situation. Now, listen. I personally think when it comes to the situation with her father, I think he's using her. Because I, I wouldn't lie, I started watching her videos when until she was with the the little black boy. I think he's from England. I can't remember where he's from, but some boy, the little black boy, which had a little, a little music video. Yeah. Anyways, that when I started watching her channel, okay, I never really went back. To see what was going on before but around that time was when i started watching her channel right and she never mentioned nothing about the father back then in her videos i mean to be quite honest she didn't really talk about him like in her videos currently but from what i hear that she writes some recommendation or some letter of good character on the father behalf recently yeah that flake into me there right Joe? yeah recently on the father behalf i think this is my opinion i could be wrong i do hope that i am wrong because if i'm right it will it will freak up the father so i hope i'm wrong i think the father using her because you, you never really used to mention him in any of your videos before and then all of a sudden now you find out you exist now that you have such a following on uh, social media platforms now that you're making money from social media platforms you know you exist now so i think I personally think he, he was using her. Right? 
That's just my honest opinion. I really do hope I'm wrong and he actually does genuinely love his daughter. But I think he is enough. And I think she was so eager to jump to the opportunity to see her father because she probably wanted him in her life for the longest while. And he now finally decided to show. Right? You never even hear the mother talk about the father much back then. Was any now recently you hear a little two cents about it. Which to me I find sounds very strange. Right? But like I say, this is my opinion. Right, the next thing people was talking about her on the socials is um how disrespectful as a wife she is to Yaman. Yaman, Yaman, whatever he name is. Right? And honestly speaking, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I totally agree to tell him it. Um, what's the telling me because let me be real at the end of the day when the camera not rolling we don't know what's going on we don't know what's going on behind closed doors you understand we do not know we may never know but for sure we do not know exactly what is going on behind closed doors you understand but why I say I agree you see that time um, Pathway to you and your man, yam, yeah, you and that guy, your husband, come on the social media to say you're not going to show baby on this face in your videos and whatnot. Right? You're saying the boot vlog that is going to be the first and the last time anybody is going to see baby on this face. Yet, when your grandparents come and visit, they'll be on this face all over. Well, not all over, but he face in the, in the video when it is your grandfather was holding him. Oh, yeah, I'm the next thing. Your grandfather and your father is two totally different people. So if you're looking for your grandfather and your father, you'll be looking forever. They are not the same person. I think that way, that was she looking for. She looking for she for she grandfather and she father. It didn't go happen. But anyways. Yeah. So you had the you had the whole atmosphere showing. After you and Yaman stand up and say you're not going to um this is the last time you'll be seeing baby on this face and then the next video you show the next couple of videos you're showing the boy face. That come like a, a disrespect to your husband. You come, or they stand up, or they say something, and then you turn your back and do something else. But like I say, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. For all we know, Yaman, 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 whatever he, he pronounce the name, probably say, hey, the numbers are looking good when they show and that's what you know. Better you continue. He probably tells you that, but we don't know. That going on behind closed doors. Or maybe me saying that give her an idea what to, uh, what to say in the next video. Don't be saying that um, it was his idea because he watching the numbers. I don't know. Hope she don't do that though because then that could be a whole different ball game. People go throw him under the bus. They could say he, he just did 50 views. I mean, they just don't say it already. But anyways. <laughs> it can be worse. Yeah, I think that's good for working on. What do you think? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my head tight. Right. The next thing what people are talking about her is, ah, uh, they say she have a binge eating problem. I do not know if she have a binge eating problem. I cannot comment on anybody eating habits because my eating habits is not the best. I'm going to say mine is not the best. No, no, I do not binge eat, but sometimes throughout the day, I will just go through the day, don't feel hungry, but feel the symptoms of hunger. You know, like when I do eat, I just get a headache. Yeah, and then when I get a headache, I was like, shit, I need lunch. Or shit, I need breakfast. So, that's what has happened to me. So, I can't comment and tell people about the eating habits, but my should do 
and you see right now i need to be mindful and watch the time and be like no you had to put something in the mouth you had to eat something you got pregnant right now so i need to be mindful of what the shit i do and i son i must burn always back you can't be doing that just watch your time and eat if you're not feeling hungry put something in the mouth put something in the mouth so yeah i try to do that as mostly get breakfast and lunch in by the night time or evening time I do not feel hungry until probably like about 10 o'clock at night which is not the time to eat make it make sense and then I get eat because if I don't eat I just get gas and if I get gas that's a whole different scenario anyways so I have no place commenting on anybody eating habits when mine is in shits though okay shits bill anyways so I don't know if she have a binge eating habit, but if you have a binge eating habit, honey, I have the money, the means, get it together, get your shit together. You could do that. You could afford to do that. You can afford to do that. If you come out and you know, come out and you say, well, I have a eating problem or eating disorder, and you be honest, trust me, people will appreciate your honesty. They really will. They truly will. Right? If that's the case, I don't know and what was the next thing yeah she do some tummy tuck surgery and was saying was exercise no i am not no fitness fanatic we could clearly see that right but um you can't come upon the social media say you exercise to lose your fupa but you still have your size make it make sense that to me didn't make no sense none I mean, it could be plus size and you lose your fupa on a table. Not through diet and exercise. Make it make sense. Because um, if you do the diet and exercise, your whole body could lose your weight, not just your fupa. Yes. I don't know. That, that's, that's just what I think. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong with that. And, um, but, anyways. Well. I decided to take a tack back with the eyelashes. So, the one side so far, it didn't dry down as it yet. I use a little more glue because I just wash my face a little rough, okay? A little, little rough. So, I put any glue on top and I put it under on my eyelashes. Oh, I forget to show the why you said. My bad. So this is the box the eyelashes came in and this is the glue that I'm using. Okay. I am so sorry, but I remember. Okay. So I just take off the eyelashes with a new glue on the top of the eyelashes and attaching it underneath on my eyelashes Alright, so just that I try it down and hopefully it dries clear. This would not be cute with the glue on it. I look like I have some kind of sickness on my eyes. Alright, so I just put the eyelashes back in the box because this is supposed to go up my eyes. I don't want to get dust out of this because it's going on my eyes. Okay, I'm estimating it should last probably about four or five days, maybe. If it lasts a whole week, I'll be surprised. Anyways, this is the eyelashes here, and this is the glue. 
here but before I close up the vlog I just want to say something when I say not all family is good family some are your family I hope that you all don't have to experience this shit that I have experienced but some your family members not really family members and when I'm a co-worker is really dead tell me sometimes when my mommy dead family dead and I really see it. I really see what she talking about. What she what she say, what she mean by when she say that. Because since she passed my mother, my sister showed me some colours that I have not seen before on her behalf. And I wanna that she shown like the pastel version of those colours before, right? The pastel version, the light version. But since the past and mommy are getting the vibrant version of those colours, right? at that side to her all right so it's like because but it's just me because when she when mommy was alive i believe that she would have hold back some of her ways because she know mommy would have put in a place and she and shit i know that mommy gone the only person to tell you and shit gone you're showing her true colors you understand and even though my father know because i've told him what she done what she did okay He is not like mommy. He would not hold her accountable. He like, he tell me, well, you know, nice silly sister. At the end of the day, we take it over that and whatever, whatever. She still never apologize. So, am I the asshole <laughs> for not forgiving somebody who never apologize? I mean, you never apologize. So why, why should I keep moving like nothing happened? And just like I had a whole incident playoff when my mother passed away. I gave her that story next day. But after that whole incident and I spoke my truth, I said what she has done to me in the past. People was like, some of my my sister was like, but why why is why is the why why it is it is send your children by car and why is it a thing i like you know and i say you know what you have a point you really do have a point and the only reason i used to send them boys across by her when she asked for them because it wasn't me begging she was because of mommy because mommy would be like when you have no quarantine no maybe you should go across by your sister when you have no water here no maybe you should go across by your sister because listen I would suffer in silence and darkness and heat with no water. I could do that. I will do that. You understand? Not to beg anybody. That, that's the kind of person I am. Right? So now that mommy gone. And she has shown her true colors. And, and my stepbrother's statement like, but why it is I like you know what? You have your right. Because if it happened to anybody else, what she did to me, it would have been excommunicado. You know? It would have been ex stuff. It wouldn't have no forgive and forget. Right? What she had done before the scene playoff for the funeral. They would have had no talking. So when I say not all family is good family, not all family is good family. Do not keep people in your life who treat you like shit because there's a family. Take what I'm saying. Do, you do not need to get burned to learn. See what's going on. Know what's going on and get your ass out of that situation. Not all family is good family. Okay? Alright. Eyelashes wear. Wear. <laughs> Anyways, um, in the eyelash defense, I did wash my face before it completely dry so that is a very strong possibility as to why it came off my edges as well did not survive <sighs> then i wash my eyelashes wash my face i wash my whole face so i love doing that just in my bar ready let's have to do it after bed because i did before bed be like sign of a bitch right <laughs> so i feel like i already had a date after that right don't mean to make this about pregnancy but jeez these days my lips my lips very sensitive 
it's quite annoying. I don't know if it was this sensitive, this fast in my other pregnancies, or if I was starting for a breast milk early. My nipples are sensitive because I'm like what 15 weeks? What really going on? It's moving too fast. Just saying. 